Hello guys, now that we have learned how to upload our images to Roblox, let us today explore some of the fun things that we can do with our uploaded images. So the first thing you want to do if you haven't already done so is to get that camera or your cell phone and go out there and take some pictures. And just keep in mind that not all images that you upload to Roblox are going to be approved. For example, I have uploaded four images and I believe two of them got rejected. Anyway, that's a 50% rate of success. So I'll take it as a win. In our prior lesson on image upload, you already seen how you can replace the particles inside a particle emitter with an image that we have uploaded. And now let us create a new experience so we can find more fun ways to do with our images. We're going to select classic base plate. Now we're going to go to the view selector, click on top. We're, we're going to resize our base plate to make it a little bigger. So I'm going to select on the scale here. I'm zooming back, select on scale. Well, I got to select my base plate first. Select the base plate and select scale. Now you're going to press down on your control key. You're going to drag the red circle and the blue circle just to make your base plate bigger. And now we go to the toolbox. We're going to select an image that we have uploaded or you can go to the marketplace and select any images from the, the marketplace. In my case, I'm going to select one that I've uploaded. So you can find your uploaded images in the creation tab here. Or you can also go to the inventory tab to, to find your images. Just make sure you select images, my images in the drop down. For today, I'm going to select this image. So I'm just going to click on it and it goes to my workspace. I can now close my toolbox. I'm going to drag the image and put it inside the base plate. And I'll go to the properties window of that image. I'm going to change the face property of that image. So instead of front, right now the image is facing the front. That's why you cannot see it. Just click on it and make it face the top. Immediately you see the image at the top. If you press play now, it's going to be as if you're walking in air on the cloud. And there it is. I'm walking in the cloud. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this uh, texture ID here. So you can either copy it from your toolbox by doing a right click and copy asset ID or you can copy it from here. I'm just going to copy it and then I'm going to delete this, this image from the base plate. And I'm going to go back to the base plate and I'm going to add a texture to it. I'm going to go to my texture property. And I'll paste in the asset ID that I've copied earlier. And scroll down to the face property. Right now it's facing front. I want it to face the top. And immediately you see that my, my base plate texture has been changed. Let's play and take a look. So the texture of this base plate is they're, they're like tiny photos of the cloud that we have inserted into the texture. I'm going to delete this texture now from the base plate. And we're going to go to, maybe go, uh, we're going to add a part first. So I'm going to add a part to my workspace. I cannot see the part. Actually, I think it's, there's a tiny dot here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press the F key to put the part in focus. So now I can see the part. I'm going to resize the part, make it a little bit bigger. And now I'm going to go to the toolbox again. I'm going to select an image. I'll select the same image. As soon as I click on the image, it goes to my part. By the way, just make sure your part is selected before you, you do that. Now you can close the toolbox. So now I have one part that is facing front. 
what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make duplicate copies of this part because I want to wrap my my part with the same image here so I'm just gonna do control D just make sure your image is selected do control D five times one two three four five all right so now let's go and wrap that box so the first image is facing front next one we want it to face uh, the back and the third one we're gonna face the bottom left right and lastly the top Now my cube has been wrapped. If you want to do it to a sphere, you can do that too. So let's add another part. We're going to add a sphere. Let me move my sphere over here. And now all I have to do is copy all these six images from my, my, my block here. I'm going to select all the six images. Right click, copy, and I'm going to select the sphere. Right click, paste into. We can change the, the color of the, 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 the images as well. So right now I'm selecting all six images from the sphere. And as you can see, the sphere has been wrapped with the image. You can select all six images. If you want to make them the same color, you, you can also make like each face like a different color. So go to the color here and then pick a different color. Click OK. All right. Um, if you want to make, uh, give it different color facing here, for example, uh, which one is the top? This this one right here? I can make it a different color than the rest. All right, so just to make it more colorful. Now let's play and take a look. Oh, where's my ball and my, oh, wow, they are far. <laughs> All right, give me a second here, guys. I'm gonna try and run as fast as I can to those parts. You can see the block there has a top that is blue and the ball is yellow. You can kick the ball around. Alright, so these are a few fun things that you can do to make your games look a little more colorful, look a little better. Thank you all so much for watching and we see you in the next tutorial.